Design 101 was a MOOC where our goal was not to teach design, was to create a community around design. McLuhan told us that the medium is the message. We felt that we live in a world where the community is the message. Apparently very nice, actually terrifying. Still, it is the world where we live today. So all of our activities, all of our uh, intention, all of our uh, things to do, they have as a meta goal how to set up a community. This is why, apart from the platform, we make an extensive use of social media. So we have groups on Facebook, we have Twitter, tweeting, Instagram and the like. So basically, the traditional teaching, teaching, it's a star. There is myself at the center of the diagram and then each student. Uh, uh, what we do as much as we can is to generate a cloud system where the interaction goes through the student. This is uh, what we're doing. Then to make it, it's uh, basically, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like for this the factory. There is uh, someone who does the video, someone who does the PDF, someone who thinks the homework to be done, someone interacts on Facebook, someone interacts on Twitter. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a, it's a cottage uh, production. Great fun, great uh, effort. If we take a look at 20th century technological advancement, every time there was a new invention, radio, CD, television, internet, someone said, fuck, this is great because university will change. No, there is radio, now people don't have any more to go to class because we broadcast a lesson. Now we have CD-ROM, fantastic, because, uh, okay, and all of these failed. So university or education didn't never, so statistically speaking, the chances that MOOC will uh, uh, revolutionary transform a university is very low. This won't happen. Or in a different way, when Gutenberg invents the mobile type, we have books, very cheap. But then a library does not become a university. A library remains a library. What happened is that if a university can have a library where books are very cheap, then you change university. So MOOC is the same. So MOOC is, is the medium, it's not the content. I can imagine that in the future there will be university, they will have a very relevant MOOC department, like now some universities they have a new media department or library very good or worship. Some other won't have any MOOC department, it will be fine, and some other will be middle way. So I, I think that the, the transformation is uh, the mobile type from Gutenberg does not make the teacher obsolete. I think that our goal is to actually have less and less uh, involvement in inside the community and inside um, the teaching part. So our goal is more to produce the teaching material and then if everything goes well, uh, ideally our students become teachers. So we teach them in a certain way uh, to become teachers themselves, and um... Um, again, in the general discourse, there is this uh, quite a tricky bit that MOOC came out in the startup age. So I have nothing against startup, venture capital, etc. All this uh, relies on a very short term. You have an idea, you call your friend, you get venture capital, and uh, in a six month, one year, uh, the thing has to work. Education is a field that needs extremely long stretches of time. So in order to understand the value of Bauhaus, it took us 50 years. So I have the feeling that all this hype about uh, startup venture capital, uh, let's get rich, uh, let's sell uh, very quick, does, is really difficult to apply on. Uh, so people believe that uh, this MOOC is uh, 100 meters. No, it's a marathon. The value of uh, what we are doing today, we will see it in 20 years, not the uh, next six months. Let's imagine that the business change and it's not anymore about having a super performance that we pay ticket to go to see, but it is to organize a party where people come, the music is good, uh, the food is nice, and uh, there are multiple DJ and uh, people from the audience become DJ, and uh, people like this uh, uh, more. So there is this shift. I would say that uh, um, the teacher has to become a producer. So like MOOC, it's uh, education start to become pretty much uh, like uh, other uh, creative activities such as cinema or things like that. In, in, in our experience, 
if I was to organize a MOOC system, uh, is not the teacher who has the name on top, the relevant bit. The relevant bit is the people interacting with the students. Actually, right now in Architecture 101, our second MOOC, uh, the MOOC is practically run by the students, by the community. We only produce the content and uh, we divided the MOOC into different um, uh, categories. So the way this MOOC functions, there is the social media part. So there is this Facebook part, the Twitter part, Instagram. Uh, the diversity platform. So all of these different parts of the MOOCs are, uh, we call them cells. So students got together and uh, are sort of managing these cells from all these branches of the MOOC. And from doing this, they are empowered and they feel much more involved. Uh, and so for this reason, uh, they also propose a lot of things of how to change, they contact me personally and we should do this and that and this is, and I say, okay, yes, let's go. Uh, uh, and they do everything by themselves. And this is, uh, this is very interesting. Can we run a class uh, with a Facebook group? Yes, of course, it's quite trivial and it's very easy. But the point is not to run a class with Facebook. The point is to run a class for students who have Facebook as the mindset. The cognitive, uh, there has been a cognitive shift. So if my students are all set up on Facebook cognitive pattern, I have to change what I teach. There is a revolution, there is a technological revolution, and because of that, we must change. If, if we simply take the old class and you feel me, do, 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 this is the, we are missing the opportunity. So uh, the, big, uh, the big challenge is how uh, to reorganize uh, uh, content. It's not just the medium. The medium per se is nothing, it's a blackboard. If you want uh, to learn how to swim, you can go to the swimming pool all the winter and then you start with the thing and then that. And, uh, or we can go to the seaside and we drop you into the water. Uh, I think the second one is much faster, much better. Uh, you drink a lot of water in this second system, but you learn much faster. So you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't fear fear. Uh, but the, it, but this, it is extremely stressful because uh, the traditional classroom, it's, uh, it's this room, it's opaque. What's happening in this classroom, no one knows. Uh, what happened in the MOOC, everyone knows. Mm. And people start to <laughs> get upset at you and you say, fuck you, what do you want? I'm a teacher. <laughs> so you have to be really, it's, it's, it's a matter of an attitude. It's not a matter of uh, avoiding mistakes. It takes some nerves and takes some. Uh, if you uh, if you are uh, easily stressed, MOOC is not for you.